Turn on iPhone screen recorder, then go to YouTube app. You can look for any song you like. Let's say Who Says from Selena Gomez. Scroll to the part you like. In this case, let's jump straight to the chorus. Press the red button from iPhone Dynamic Island to stop the screen recording. The video recorded is automatically saved into your photo album. Open the video to trim the length that you want. You can see I'm trimming the length to the beginning of the chorus part of the song. Once you're satisfied with the length, click Save Video as New Clip on the upper right button. You can always replay the new clip you just save into your photo album to make sure the song length is the one you've been wanted. Now it's time for you to download Garage Ringtones for iPhone from App Store. Type in Garage and click on the Garage Ringtones for iPhone from the options, then click Get. As I've downloaded this app earlier on, that's why mine is open instead of Get. It would lead to the same outcome where this app will be downloaded in your iPhone in split seconds. Open the app once you download it, click plus sign, select video library to import the video you've trimmed and garage ringtone automatically turn it into audio. Final check the song length is what you wanted. Click set ringtone and GarageBand app will automatically pop up. You'll see a new file with a name by Project 1 on your screen. Long press the file Project 1 then click share then select ringtone. You can rename this file to your preference. In this case, let's rename this song to Who Says by Selena Gomez. Click Export, then OK. Let GarageBand do its thing, then click OK. Now you have the options either to use as new ringtone or text tone or assign to any of your contact. Let's choose the first option. Now in iPhone setting, select sounds and haptics, and the new ringtone is the new song you edited a couple minutes ago. Who says, who says you're not perfect? Who says you're not worth it? Who says you're the only one that's hurt? 